we're going to have a look at how to add multiple titles to a single video clip. This is really useful if you're doing some kind of intro, opening credit, and it really can look cool if you do it in a certain style. So let's grab a clip I've got from vidEasy.com. This is just a really simple video of a vinyl record playing on a record player. And it really doesn't do much, this clip, but you can see how this clip would be perfect to put some opening credits or some titles with a bit of style. Let's stop that there. We're going to go to the VFX. And now normally if you click on the plus, grab a title and throw it on, it's going to take the whole of your clip. Then you would normally unfold and then see that you've got your titles over here. So I'm just going to undo that. What I'm going to do is show us a slightly different way and a better way of adding VFXs to clips. So what I'll do is I'll just let it play And at about five seconds, I'm going to add my first title. On my keyboard, I'm going to press I, drag the playhead forward, and then press O. So that's my I for in and my O for out. So you can see I've just marked a little piece of my clip where I want the text to go. I'm going to click on the plus, go to titles, and drag it into that V1 track over there. And you can see immediately it's unfolded itself and FX1 is now a piece of text. Let's change that text. And I'm going to say, we proudly present. Let's make that a little bit bigger, like so. And with the position, let's move it up to around there. So we proudly present. So when we just play this, you can see that it will start and then the clip will come in. We proudly present. And what I want to do now is just move my playhead a little bit in mark an in, leave the out where it is, and then I'm going to go back to plus. I'm going to grab another title, drag it over. Now I'm going to be careful. I don't want to put it on the FX1 track. I want to actually go down to the V1 track and kind of put it into that new in and out I've marked. And you can see FX2 is now created and I've got the sample text. So let's replace that. So I've written an Esh ICT. I'm going to again resize that. And I'm going to leave that in the center. And I'm going to move my player just a little bit more forward. Press I on my keyboard to mark a new in. Leave the out where it is. Go back to the plus. Click on the titles. And again, drag it down to my V1. That has created my last or my third FX track called FX3. I'm going to, just so that I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to move that down about there. I'm just going to write the word production. So this would be like the opening credits or the opening to a film that I'm making. I'm going to go back to font and let's resize this so it kind of matches the other things that we did. Let's just resize that just to make it look a little bit nice. Now let's go back to the start and just play that. So what will happen is, as my movie starts, my first title is going to come in. My second title has come in. And my third title has come in. So that's a really easy way of adding a little bit of style. Now, obviously, I've kind of taken it a bit too far with the gaps in between. So let's just zoom in a little bit and correct those silly mistakes. So what we'll do is we'll just move that in there, just so that the delay isn't so big, and drag that there. I'm going to disable all other tracks. I'm going to move the playhead roughly there and press C to cut all of them. I'm going to pick up the first one, get rid of it. And the last one, which I have to zoom in just to grab and pick up and throw away. Let's get rid of the ins and outs so it looks a little bit tidy. Zoom out a little bit and let's play that again. That should have a slightly better effect because it's not such a big delay. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Now, on my version of this, they all kind of go out of the screen together, and I think that looks quite cool. But there's nothing that would stop you from moving them around so that they came in at different times and went out at different times. But that's really for you to do. And of course, nothing says that each one of these titles can't have a different color, a different font face. And of course, you can use keyframes to animate any one of these size positions or colors so that you can really use your imagination with titles, especially when you've got multiple titles on the single video clip.